Welcome, this is Carrie Schell from On Point Quilter. This week, EQ started releasing the next update to Electric Quilt 8. And as part of this release, there is a new feature that allows us to save a quilt as a photo. And this is going to make creating labels super easy. And so I wanted to just show you how easy it is to do that in this tutorial. I am on the quilt work table and have selected this round quilt that I designed as part of the TKQ Bargello class. And I decided I would love to have a round label. And so I'm going to print my label on EQ printables and just cut it out on the circle. But I need to put text on this. So I'm going to make a label that uses the image of the quilt as the backdrop. The first thing I want to do is select Hide Show Quilt Patch Lines because I don't want to see those lines in the label. Because this is a very busy quilt, I don't want to just throw um, the words on top of it because I think it's going to be hard for those words to be visible. So I'm going to create a backdrop for those words. And to do that, I'm going to go to the Block Work table. I'm going to do a new block applique motif and I'm going to select the ellipse and I'm going to change the block width to 12. Then I will drag an ellipse inside the work table and I will drag the edges of the object to resize it. And I'll do center and block, go to the color tab and I will color this and add this to the project sketchbook. Now I will go back to the quilt work table and I'm going to do a set block. I'm going to go to layer 2 and I'm going to drag my ellipse on the quilt. I'm going to select it with the adjust tool and I'm just going to drag an edge to resize. Now I am going to turn off snap block position to grid and snap block size to grid under the grid setups. That's going to give me more flexibility and I may change this once I get the text in but I'm going to go ahead and put this towards the center and then do a center horizontally and vertically so I've got it exactly in the center of the quilt. Now I need to add text. Before I do that, I want to pick the color for my text. So I'm going to go to the Fabric Tools, select my color, and then I'm going to go to the Text Tools, do a Set Text, and I decided to use this stencil text. You can pick any text that's on your computer. I am going to now use the Shift key on my keyboard just draw a little box and then I can start typing which will expand the size of the box. So I'm going to say uh, quilt by, I return carry sh shell uh, and the year 2019. Now if I want to make changes I can bring the size up and then I can uh, center this uh, however I want to. I'm going to uh, select the middle option for centering and then I'm going to select it with the adjust tool. I think I want preserve aspect ratio on. Uh, well, I don't even need to resize it. I think that looks pretty good. I can do a center horizontally and center vertically and then I can add this to the project sketchbook. Now I'm going to view my project sketchbook and under the quilts I'm going to select my label quilt which is going to be the last one and I'm going to do a copy to photos and I'm going to close. Then I'm going to select the image work table and under print and export I'm going to select Photo Layout. And in Photo Layout, I'm going to take the quilt I just designed and I'm going to drag that on the sheet of paper. 
and it asks if I want to resize it to fit or scale it to fit. I'm going to say yes. To do additional scaling, I will just drag a corner of the photo and reposition it. And then I'm ready to print. I can select uh, print. It's going to let me select a printer from my list of printers and I'm going to select OK. Thanks so much for watching. For additional tips and techniques and to be informed of new classes and other online tutorials, please subscribe to my weekly newsletter at www.onpointquilter.com.